All right. Hello, everyone. Today we have Sarah Bowman. Sarah is a VA and she's also a stay at home mom. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you for having me. All right. So, Sarah, tell us about what you do currently. Sure, sure. So um, in February, I decided to, I launched my business. Um, I launched Sarah Bowman Assisting. I am a virtual assistant. Um, I do social media management, also some email management, and just general admin tasks. Um, I decided that I wanted to start my business probably, I think it, it was really probably last August um, in 2017. Um, I had been kind of I was stir crazy. So I've worked forever and um, we decided when my daughter was born that I would stay home. And about four months in, I was like, okay, I love this, but I need something for myself. And so I did tons of research and decided about August, like I said, that um, I would become a virtual assistant. And so I started doing research because it was something I could do in my spare time. I could work around my daughter's schedule and I could bring in money to help my family. So it was kind of like a win, win, win type of thing. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So where, where are you like if a bit to the time that you decided to officially start your business, what was that process like? So I made the decision, I, I had done a ton of research, and once I made the decision that for me to be really successful, I wanted to make sure that, and I'm sure a lot of people think, realize this, is that time is money. And being a stay-at-home mom, you don't have a lot of free time. Being a mom in general, you just don't have a lot of time. And so I wanted to make sure that if I was going to be doing something, I wanted to get a good bang for my buck. And so... For me, after doing research, I realized that um, going out on my own would be the best. And so I started doing a ton of research. Um, I did a course that kind of helped me get to the point to launch my business. But at that point, it was like, okay, so I launched my business. Now what? I don't know what to do. And I knew I wanted to focus on social media. Um, I have a background. I have a degree in marketing. And so marketing is my passion. I, I just absolutely love it. Um, and so I came across an I don't even know how I came across you, but I came across you on, I think it was probably Facebook. I signed up for your email list and you had had, it was towards the end of your sales funnel. It was in December. You were offering a deal on your uh, membership site, GPN. Um, and it was for try the first month for $14. And so I thought I was at that point where I'm like, you know, I can learn what I need to do every day. So why not? It's $14. I can make $14 work. And so I did, I signed up and honestly, I fell in love with it. It taught me everything that I needed to do to do my job um, on a day in day out basis. It taught me how to grow my business. Um, and so it really, it gave me the confidence that after I did, um, I honestly didn't even get through all of GPN and I was ready to launch my business. I knew what I needed to do. I had the confidence to do it. And I got that from GPN. Awesome. So tell us about your first client. So my first client actually just, honestly, it, it was God and just it fell into my lap. So I made, I was in the process of working on my website and I had mentioned to one of my friends, Hey, you know, I want to launch this business. And so I'm really sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to your son's birthday because I need to get my website ready to go. I'm, I want to launch my business. And she had mentioned it to her mom who that same exact weekend was saying, you know, I really need to take a course on social media and marketing. I know it's important for my business. I have no idea what I'm doing. And so she mentioned it to her mom. She's like, mom, Sarah is doing this. Why don't you give her a call and, you know, see if you can make it work. And so we had actually went to her house for the Super Bowl, and I had crossed her mom in passing. They were leaving as we were getting there. And we made the connection at that point. Um, it was probably, that was at the beginning of February. Um, and so I ended up signing a contract with her a month later. Uh, she had to get some things in place for her business. But it's been amazing. Um, I've set up a Facebook page for her. Um, I've gotten her a ton of likes and I've scheduled postings for her. Um, we've had a couple potential leads already for her. So it's been great. It's been really successful. I'm, I'm really excited. That's great. So how, are, how is your business now? Because we're like in 
We're in April. Oh my God. Beginning. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I actually will hit two months in business this week. Um, I have two clients currently. Um, I'm crazy about them both. And so I, I've learned so much from them. And I'm actually to the point now where I'm starting to look for more clients. I, I figured out what I want to do, how I need to do it, kind of getting my processes ironed out. And so now I'm ready to take on more. I'm, yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah, I have a lot of people who say, you know, I'm a stay at home mom. I have a small child or I have small children. And I feel that sometimes they some you know they sometimes feel that you know how am I going to do it how am I going to schedule that so how do you um, you want to share with us your technique uh, with everything that you've learned so far in the program you know how do you use that because I actually do teach you kind of like a system of time management where like mm -hmm. focusing on sales and then like kind of doing that how how do you uh, use those techniques now as far as with your child and you know running your business still. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, so for me, I, I've done a ton of research in this um, because, again, I, I need to get the biggest bang for my buck. And having a toddler, you don't have a lot of free time. You can't be tied to a computer if you're, if you're home with them. Um, and so I have really, I work in time clocks, I guess is the best way to describe it. So I will wake up and I'll work until she wakes up. Some days I only get 15 minutes. Some days I get an hour and a half. It, it really depends on her. Um, and then I focus the bulk of my, my time. I work on my business and client work during nap time. Um, she's down. We start the process about one o'clock every day. She's down no later than 2 p.m. I get from 2 to 3.30 um, to do my business. And that's, that's her quiet time. If she sleeps, great. If she doesn't, that's on her. Um, but she, that's my time to work on my business. And then if she sleeps longer, I work until she wakes up. Um, I also then, we do our family time, bedtime, all of that. And then I come back down to my office and I'll, it again, depends on the day. Um, I typically put in an hour after she goes to bed. Um, if I have a lot of energy and really awake, I'll work until 10 or 11. It, it just depends. Um, and then I do schedule, if I need to, I schedule things morning, typically from eight to eight to one, that's my mom time. And I try to keep it that way um, because I don't want her to lose out on that time with me. So that's how I do it. And it's, it's worked out really well so far. Awesome, so that's great. So anything else you wanna share with new, new people who are trying to start, their, especially new moms, or not new moms, but women who have children, maybe they stay at home or they have small children and they want to start a new business. They haven't done it before. What would you give them as far as advice and any recommendations? Um, so first thing I would do um, is really sit down and you have to get right with yourself. Um, you have to make sure that starting a business is something you want to do, that you're willing to do, you're willing to put in the work for, um, and that you really want it and you, you need to make sure that your why is important enough, um, that your goals are big enough so that on days when your internet goes out and you have nothing that you can do, well, you can still get on your phone. You can work from your phone. Um, I would also recommend definitely trying out GPN. I mean, it honestly has taught me so much, so, so much. I can't even, um, and I know I've, I've shared this with you before that, um, I have gotten way more value than, than what I um, have paid for. I think I was figuring out with what I've put into GPN so far and the money I've made so far. I think I've had like probably, I think the return was like 11, 11 times the amount that, of what I've spent on what I've made in my business. So, and that's, again, I'm just getting started. Um, so I would definitely recommend GPN to anyone who who wants to get started, who wants to get into digital marketing, wants to get into social media, um, copywriting, content production, production in general, um, I would recommend GPN. And then also have confidence in yourself and know that you can do it. Um, you're a mom, being a mom is hard, but you're always gonna have a heart, so choose your heart. Um, and you can do this. If, if you really wanna do it, you will do it and you will be successful at it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sarah, for sharing your story and sharing your experience. 
Thank you.